I uh, took a shower the other day and started, I was like, you know what? Something's got to give because I feel like the devil is trying to like destroy me because since I've been home, it's not even, it's been two months. I have completely blew out my ankle. Okay. It's still not repaired. I am on drug court. I have to take two classes a week, seven meetings a week. So that's 10 hours right there. Plus work 36 minimum hours plus go to check-ins. So we're talking, we're adding in, that's 14 hours of stuff I have to do for drug court, not including work. Um, I smashed my finger, taking out my mom's cabinets. I injured my opposite knee of my foot at work. I have had poison ivy and had to go to the doctor and get a shot. I look at my, look at my arms. Well, shoot. How can I? Well, meh. Whatever. I'm beat up. My arms are beat up and scratched up. Um, I've had found out about a guy that I've loved for a long time, had a whole girlfriend, kind of not the whole time I was gone. And so I got in the shower Ooh. with all this information. You know what though, Brittany, with all, with all the stuff that you're doing, it's amazing. And, um, one way you can look at it is cause I'm, well, hold on. I'm doing the 90, 90. All right, finish, go. <laughs> And then you tell me that because I want to see okay. what I what you're gonna say is what I'm doing. Okay, all um, right. So I got in the shower, and that's my my time. You know, I didn't turn the lights on, and I literally prayed and thanked God for my hurt ankle, my hurt knee, for my pain, nice. for my sadness, for my time being consumed. I was like, thank you for each individual thing. Thank you for my kids being here and it being hard. Thank you for for me being. Tired. Thanks. All of these things that are seen out because I had to get a different perspective. I had to look at it differently because one, the devil wouldn't want me if God didn't have me right by his side. Okay. Cause, cause if he's got me, he doesn't mess with you. You know what I mean? Right. It's when he doesn't have a hold on us when he wants us the most, just like people do. They want to latch on cause they want what we have, but I'm not willing to give it up. So you know what? I'm going to beat you to the punch. I just started thanking him. And then I started praying in depth for certain people, you know? And then today I went to work and I'm like, gosh, they're, and okay, well, let me back up. So yesterday I got up and I put this on Facebook too, whatever, because I share my life on there. Cause I have friends that are in like active addiction right now that I want them to see what it's, what it's doing to my life, you know? So there's a point. So like, I got up and I was like, I don't want to go to work. And I was like, Brittany, you're not going to complain today. You're not complaining. I don't care what happens. Do not complain. You are grateful. You're not in prison. This is all coming back to what you just said too. And so, you know, and then today I went to work and the, the, everybody complained all day. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. So today was miserable because everybody was complaining, which my theory is right. Stop complaining and it won't be so bad. Well, yeah. And, um, I was thinking the same similar thoughts because I was like, okay, 90, 90, that's nine hours a week working a full-time job. And then, uh, outpatient is another nine hours a week. And then, you know, one-on-one -on -one is another hour a week. And then house yeah. meeting is another hour a week, you know, and I was like, man, but then I was like, you know what? Okay. So I'm looking at 19 hours of recovery mm -hmm. a week. Um, I would put in eight hours a day drinking. So 19 hours a week isn't that bad in comparison. Like if that's what I need yeah. to do to get my life back and get me back, I'm, I'm, I have no room yeah. or reason to complain. And another thing is, is if we schedule out our time, like I do, like yesterday, I literally had a 20 minute get ready time scheduled for myself. You know, like I on Tuesdays, it's from 5 30 AM until nine at night. And then I get time free, but it's time to go to bed. And it's like, it's okay. Because I know that today I was coming home, taking a shower really quick. I didn't put on makeup. I have my kids here, you know, I'm supposed to go to a meeting. All my friends are going to the meeting and I'm not, but I, but I got on a zoom meeting this morning. So it's like, if you allocate every minute of your day, you really do have time and you realize how much you're wasting yeah. on crap that isn't important like drinking or staying yeah. up for two or three days at a time doing absolutely oh, it was a full -time job. I yeah, was productive it was, though. It was a full-time job and then trying to have a full-time job was like trying to have two full-time jobs. Only one paid me and one I spent money. 
Yeah. So, <laughs> but yeah. How happy are you, Jen? That, hey, hey, whoa. I Can I, I got 10 more minutes, guys, babies. It's getting ready to hang up now. It's okay. I'm picking my toe till it bleeds right now. Why? Because that's what I do. I talk about poop and I pick my toes when they're accessible. Oh my God. <laughs> it's gonna cut us off. Hey, we're gonna be okay. Yeah. You know it, and and it, and it's gonna be okay. Absolutely. It will. Yeah. Honestly, we're gonna. Yeah. Girlies, I'm very excited. I mean, that you both are kind of on. You, you're kind of sort of both at the beginning of both of your recoveries and it's really awesome. I mean, it is awesome to watch. Yeah. Cause Jen, I've changed so much in the last five years and I know how proud Jen is of you, you know? Thank Yay. You. I mean, you guys both have a lot to offer the world. Aww. I miss my Jay-Z. So, <laughs> I think no. you still should all move out here. Well, Brittany up here, but yeah, 